welcome in to the MISL Weekend Review. My name's Nicholas Murray, very pleased to be joined by Chris Economides as we look back on a couple of big games in the MISL this past weekend, starting off in St. Louis, where the Milwaukee Wave clinched a playoff place but had to come from behind to do so. Impressive performance by the ambush, but the Wave just a little bit too much in the second half as they overcame a four-point halftime deficit. Yeah, I mean, hats off to uh, the Milwaukee Wave. You know, not a big surprise that they clinched a playoff spot, but typical Keith Tozer fashion. They're at the top of the table. Another great crowd in St. Louis, so congratulations to the ambush organization on a tremendous year on the field. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, you know, the cream rose to the top. Milwaukee came back. Much closer game than we had, uh, you know, at least I thought it, would be, it was going to be a close game. I, I mentioned this in the preview yeah, last yeah. week. I, and the nearly 7,000 fans at the family arena Tremendous certainly got crowd. their money's worth. Chad van der Griff putting in a couple of goals, including a really nice three-pointer. Big second half, big second quarter surge, but the, the way we were able to weather it and kind of get back into the groove in the second half. Yeah, I mean, the, the typical expansion blues here with the St. Louis, no pun intended to St. Louis blues there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, they, they, they've got some growing pains. I think Daryl Duran's done an excellent job this year with the first-year franchise. They've, they've, they've had four wins. They've, you know, they've... They've come a long way from the beginning of the year when they've lost, you know, some games by higher margins. They're staying close, but they just can't seem to, you know, to get the win uh, at the end of the game. But again, tremendous first year off the field for the St. Louis ambush. Certainly has been. Now, the Wave remain on top, but the Baltimore Blast remain snapping right at their heels half a game back, having also clinched a playoff spot with a victory against the Syracuse Silver Knights. Now, we were expecting a playoff atmosphere. We got... A very, very tight game. Max Ferdinand with the late, late power play goal to grab a 12-10 victory here. These two teams could meet in the playoffs. If it's anything like Friday night's game, we're in for a treat. Yeah, I mean, they've played three games in the past three weeks here, or a couple weeks. All three have been very, very close. Tremendous games. I think two evenly matched teams. Great job by both Tommy Tanner and Danny Kelly. You know, Danny's got the, the blast right there on the, you know, on the heels of the wave. Uh, Syracuse on the verge of clinching the playoff spot. Should be just a formality coming up, but, you know, never say never. But, again, great game. You know, a late goal by Max Ferdinand on a somewhat controversial late penalty call uh, by the referees in that game. But, again, tremendous game. Should be a heck of a playoff preview or playoff series should these two teams meet. Well, both Syracuse and the Missouri Comets are looking for two more wins to clinch their places in the postseason. And we'll talk with the Missouri Comets' Leo Gibson in MISL Weekly this week ahead of their big game on Sunday against the Baltimore Blast. We hope you join us for that on Thursday. Until then, for Chris, my name's Nicholas. Thanks for joining us.